archers who fled Bellow. Welcome. Welcome. Alrighty, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Gwent. Today, we are facing the innkeeper at the Kingfisher. Um, I previously bought a Havocar healer from her, so or from him, rather. So we are actually doing a pretty good job in the Gwent card area. I think we only have, like, maybe four or five more cards to go. Uh, so let's try and get another one today. All righty. So uh, I ended up changing out the monster leader. Um, I thought that was pretty, pretty useful uh, considering. Now, I think scorches are probably not something that's super important for them because they have so much muster. It might be more of a, uh, a, a curse than a, than a blessing, as it were. Um, I'm almost tempted to put another decoy in here just because of... Um, how prevalent spies seem to be at this point in the game. Uh, but uh, I don't think I want to trade out the other Scorch. It, it could come in handy. You never know. So let's uh, let's try this one out with a monster deck. Ah, so Scoitel. This will be an interesting matchup. These are two decks that are heavily, heavily based on... Um, oh, crap. On muster, uh, and as being such, we do have a little bit of an issue. Both the crones and the vampires uh, are in my hand, so this is a situation that you don't really want to be in. I'm going to have to try and redraw and get uh, both the vampires and the crones out of here. Whoops! Shit. Okay, well, we we're only able to really get rid of one of them, which is okay. Uh, all in all, that won't be terrible. Um, let's go with this guy. Okay. No big deal there. And uh, I'm going to throw down Dandelion. Because that's going to help out for Shua. Oh, okay, good. You want to pass? Because I was super ready to pass myself. All right, sounds good. We won that first round. Uh, kept a decently strong card. Not necessarily the one that I would have picked. Uh, but... It is what it is. Uh, I think first things first, we're going to lay down Yennefer and uh, get back Dandelion because that is the most important card that went to the grave. All right. So we're going to keep that front line strong for as long as possible. Um, and yeah, we're, we're going to try and, and take this in the first round. Um, man, that sucks. Ah, this is good, though. Oh, he didn't... He didn't have the other cards. Well, that's not quite what I wanted. The question here is, do I want to trade um, a 10 for a 10? I think... I think time would really tell, but the problem here is that we we don't have time. Um, this is probably the best opportunity we're going to have to use the Scorch. Um, oh yeah, what was our ability? Restore a card from our discard pile to our hand. Um, what do we got? Okay, actually, I think this is going to be okay. Let's do the Scorch now. We'll get rid of that 10 while we can. You know, I don't know what's going to happen here, so we'll do that, and then we'll bring that 5 back to our hand. Alright, let's get the Catacan back. Torrential Rain. Not fantastic, but not too bad overall. Just 
particularly because um, we don't have much that goes in the siege with the monster cards. Now, hmm, I think a good one to do would be the Catacan first. Just in case a Scorch does come, um, normally we would be defended from our Arrakis because it would be in the siege row with six, I think, and that covers the... Uh, Covers the four, but that's just not going to happen today. So uh, we got to make sure we have something else that's going to protect them. All right, all in all, we, we pretty much got this one. Yeah, that's not going to help you at all. Oh, and it doesn't have a whole lot of the muster really going on, which is interesting. Um, good for us, I suppose. All right. Okay. Well, it is what it is. We have handily won that. I'm not going to worry about trying to run up the score on this guy or any. Well, we're at 59. Ah, okay. Let's do it. Let's just let's just try it. Okay. So our previous best, I think, was 172. Most of our points are right here, so let's see if we can push it. I think it'll be in the 160s. Oh, oh, that didn't do anything because of Dandelion, I guess. Oh, well, I thought that was going to stack. Well, we handily won. It was, a, it was a good round overall. Let's see what we get. I kind of like the way that monster deck works. Ronald Ep Mattison. Or not Mattison, but Matson. Uh, okay, and that is going to be a Nilfgaardian Empire, and uh, yeah, decent, decent card. Um, I don't think that there is, yeah, there's not really a whole lot of reason to bring him into the fold. Uh, I have really two guys, or well, I should say girls, in the range that... Uh, aren't tens. Everybody else in the range is a is a ten, so uh, no real reason to bring him in. It's just adding cards that we don't really need to. The other thing I'm thinking is uh, to add some of these spies in. Now I have two in there, but um, just the way that Sasha's deck was working in that high stakes tournament seems like it would be super super beneficial to use those guys. Anyways, I'm gonna end this round here. I will see you in the next one. Do you wish the eternal fire's blessing upon you and your household? Come, true believer. May its light shine. Watch it or you'll see the shine of my sword. And back off. That incense is making me nauseous. You might have said so right away. Countersign and fish soup gives the deacon's auntie a headache. What do you need? Before you ask, I'm all out of hemorrhoid cream. What are you talking about? Your incense that bad for the brain? What do you mean? You gave the password, signaling you wish to buy some herbs. Uh. Yeah, subterfuge. You're about as much a priest of the eternal fire as I am a Vestal Virgin. What sort of conspiracy is this? Conspiracy? Dare. Folks see conspiracies everywhere. I sell harmless things. Yet in turbulent times like these. Think it's safer to don priest's robes? See, thing is, in this town, impersonating a priest is likely grounds for punishment. Cruel and unusual, I'd wager. I impersonate no one. I am a priest. Though I am also an alchemist. Sadly, it's become difficult to reconcile the two. Uh, will you report me? Or shall we make a deal? Trying to bribe me? Save your coin. I'm not fond of priests. In fact, you'd have to pay me to talk to them. Then I shall sell you my wares for less. Cast your eyes. See if there's aught you could use. Provided, of course, you do not seek hemorrhoid cream. Um, yeah, okay, well. That gave me a little bit of a scare there. 
I thought that this guy was going to be a Gwent player. Thank God that he is. That that little uh, that little cutscene there it had me a little worried. It had me a little worried. We had the wrong guy, but we got the right guy. So time to kick his ass. And uh, we're going to take all his money. Well, as much money as we can take. It's no uh, high stakes Gwent That's tournament, cards. but it is what it is. Gwent wouldn't be bad. Hopefully that didn't uh, ruin too much of uh, kind of the plot and premise for those of you that want to play this game but haven't. Um, hmm. You know what? Why not? Let's just use the monster deck. First thing that pops up, eh? Oh, no guardians. All right. Well, we'll see how it goes. Uh, okay, that's good. That's good. This is not good. And those are not good. Okay, so let's try and get some of the um, Arrakis out of here. Good, good, good. And um, crossing our fingers, we can get one of these crones to go away as well without bringing in another Arrakis. Ah, the vampire. Ah, I should have said that too. I didn't get the Arrakis, but I got the vampire. All right, so it's going to be my turn. Let's uh, Let's play ourselves a little bit of a spy. Can't say I'm super happy about all that. Um, well. Mm, we could put this guy down in the front. Yeah, let's do that. All right, show me something, dude. Lethal. Ooh. That card ain't no joke. A lot of the Nilf Guardian cards aren't a joke, but um, the one thing that they truly, truly lack is um, you know a little bit of backup, a little bit of uh, these these like effects. I think probably what we can do is is be pretty safe in using these vampire cards. It's unfortunate we didn't get another spy, but it uh, it is what it is. Actually, I'll get a little bit of a boost. See what he wants to throw down to try and overcome that. Um. Well, you know what? Just for shits and giggles. Well, what if he has a spy? I don't know. Uh, what What is this one again? Restore a card from your Discord. No, that's not what we want. Uh huh. Well, I'm hesitant to lay anything else down, to be honest with you, because um, I, I guess we could use this. That's not necessarily a bad one. I don't want to use the decoy, necessarily. Either I think we can use the clear weather and kind of get away unscathed. What's this guy? Look at three random cards. Yeah, that's fine. Let's just do that. If it comes back to bite us in the ass, oh well. We're gonna try and get his uh, his heavy hitters right out off the bat. Now, um, I'm thinking something. Probably good for us to do uh, is just just pass, right? If we win this round, great. If we lose this ground uh, round, it is what it is. But we're gonna have a little teeny weensy bit of a card advantage with him, and I think we can kind of like force him to uh, play around with his hand and stuff. Now, I think maybe a good thing would be to lay this down so we can't just let him put down some puny card. He's gonna have to put something uh, that's at least an eight. So the only thing that they have would be another ten. So we'll do this and uh, see what he's going to do. Hopefully he has another 10 to kind of throw at the pile. Fudge. Okay. Yeah. I'll take that back then. All right. And he's used his ability. Okay. Let's kind of um, cross our fingers that we keep the K around. And we'll get ourselves a teensy weensy bit of a card advantage off the off the start here. What 
what you're gonna do. Oh, why you gotta be an asshole? Uh... Okay, we can we can do this. Uh, we'll cover our ass with the Arrakis siege row person. Oh, crap. Well, this is probably going to be pretty knockout, drag down, or knockdown, drag out. You know, whatever that saying is. Uh, so, best thing we're going to be able to bring back, honestly, is this vampire catacan. Uh, if we if we used this card, uh, what that means in the long run, I do not yet foresee. Uh, I think what we do is we try and establish uh, some sort of superiority in, in this round, and uh, we'll place Geralt down. It might be, it might end up biting us in the ass when when it comes to it in the end, but. Um, Oh, okay. Okay. That's that's fine by me. Uh, so I'll pass. I'll win that round. And then when we come back, I will uh, use this right off the bat. And we'll just try and pull the strongest card we have in our graveyard. Yep. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Uh, and then we'll what? Six? Yeah. Six. Alrighty. Ah, oh, thank God. Well, we dodged a bullet there. It could have been bad. Alright, we'll lay down Imlareth. I, I think it's pretty clear at this point that we got it. I'm not super worried. Yeah, there you go. Um, Alright, well, we'll throw this guy down. I know you can, the, the best you got is maybe a 15. If, yeah, okay. Thanks for trying. I appreciated the round. All right, we're just going to take the win here. Uh, we could try and run it up, but there's really no point. We're not going to hit our record. So, thanks, Priest. Alrighty. Looks good to me. 20 crowns and... Impenetrable Fog. Man, that card has been escaping me since the very beginning of the game. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next round of Gwent. Until then... Welcome back. So, interested in some of Eremas's mementos after all? They're still for sale. Um, wow. Okay, this was... I talked to this guy, like, one of the first things I did in my playthrough. I can't believe I forgot to play him for this long. But, we're gonna have to do it, so we might as well do it now. Don't show me what you have. I don't give two shits. I just want to play some gosh darn cards. All right, all your monies. To matters less controversial wouldn't mind playing a few rounds of Gwent. All right, you know what? I am maybe feeling feeling like some some power is needed. Um, now, these guys have a whole bunch of spies. Can't say that I'm using them. Looking for them. Yeah, I'm not using them. Um, meh. Uh, yeah, eh. How many? How many of these do I have? You know what? I, I think I think I'm okay going with the two spies. It's it's probably not ideal, but let's do it. Okay, so he's also a Nilf Guardian, which has its you know benefits, I suppose. You know, considering we're the same the same uh, faction, we kind of have some level of understanding what we're going to be up against. I think probably the best thing to do is get rid of these two guys. Uh, Dandelion is going to be particularly useful. Uh, so let's try and go with the Zerakini first, because if I can get the tight bond, I'm going to keep him. Nope. Okay. And then what we're going to do is try and get a spy. Please spy. Please spy. Nope. No spy. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Uh, we go first, eh? 
Uh, well, let's put down. Shit, I don't know. I feel like this is just going to be a battle of the beasts here. Whoever has more tens, that's who's going to end up winning this game. Um, yeah, okay. We'll put Fringilla out first. Uh, Dandelion is particularly useful, or useless, uh, as it were. Uh, not a whole lot that he's really going to do for us. I'm going to keep letting him do this this junk. Because um, if he puts down a whole bunch of tens, right off the bat, I can just scorch him and, and take it. Oh, please, please have the other one for that. That would be really nice. Please use it. Um, you guys can't see it, but I'm crossing my fingers. I just want him to play that. Because if he drops, if he drops the other young emissary down there, ooh man, it is all over for him. Uh, granted, if he does it, I'm about to play the scorch anyway right off the bat. So. Oh yes, 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 yes. All right, because Dandelion is particularly useless, we're just going to throw him down there to kind of separate ourselves a little bit. At least pull up to the tie, so he's got to play something else. Uh, I don't like that, but it is what it is. All right, so let's uh, let's get rid of these two cards. It's unfortunate that we couldn't get that one as well, but uh, you know it is what it is. Let's we'll see what he wants to do off of that. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, well, we, we still got it. He, he still has to play at least a little bit. What is what is this, guys? Cancel your opponent's... Shit. So, yeah. Yep. Where are we? Damn it. Damn it. We can't even try and waste time if we wanted to. Um, okay. Well, I mean, we, we have we have options. We definitely have options. Um, let's see. This is this. We need this for the next round. Um, this is just going to be particularly useful. Um, it's going to be interesting to see, but I think we should pass. It's probably the best way to go about doing this, but uh, we'll see. So he's definitely got to play at least one card. Well, and he's getting all these guys out of the way. So, yep, that's fine. And then he's going to have to go first anyway, so we'll see what he's hiding away in there. Hopefully he doesn't have a spy. That would really piss me off. Uh, okay, so we're just going to lead off with Cirilla. Oh, God. Okay. Well, we got to do it. So if he has a Scorch, it's it's pretty much done. Uh, it doesn't really matter. If he's got another guy, then that's... Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So he's done. And uh, it turns out that that pass was the, the right thing to do. Uh, all right. We're going to win it. Cool. And then uh, I, I'm not going to gamble. I know that the Nilf Guardians have this thing where, like, if you are in a tie, then you win. But he's Nilf Guardian. I'm Nilf Guardian. We're, we're not going to mess with that. I'm just going to take the win the way it should be taken. Alrighty, guys, this is going to be the end of the episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. I know that I did. I haven't played Witcher in a while. I know to you guys it might not seem like anything in particular. Uh, but for me, it's been about a month, so it's really, really nice to get back into this. Uh, oh, we got a Wyvern. Let's take a look at that. That is going to be in the monster cards. Most definitely. Uh, what? It's not even a five? Where... It's only a two. Wow, that that is not good. Uh, okay, so we won't be using that anytime soon. That's for damn sure. But um, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, do what you do. Otherwise, I hope you have a good day, good night, whatever it is to you. And uh, I'll see you back here next Sunday.
for another round of Gwent. And then, oh, I should bring up this point. Uh, I'm going for this collect them all before we end up hitting Hearts of Stone, uh, the expansion that's coming out. And it's supposed to have new Gwent cards. So we all know what's going to happen there, guys, right? New Gwent cards, new opponents. It's going to be on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Anyone else would like it. And you're not going to stop there. No, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. Just do it.